Okay, after the last video, we do have the animations, and we did clean the project file up a bit. The project, whole project. Um, I want to give the player the ability to hold a sword right now, um, and we can go into weapons. Um, so we don't have weapons. We can go into the launcher. Go to epic content. Here's Infinity Blade weapons. I can add that to my action RPG project. I also want to add Infinity Blade effects. Weapons oftentimes use effects. Okay. Um. So here, where that? Here's Infinity Blade weapons. I want to put that in weapons folder. Thanks for following along. I hope you're enjoying the tutorial. Infinity weapons, and in he, in here there's nothing because we moved it already. Um, okay, that actually. Okay, here's infinity weapons. We can fix up redirectors. Take care of this real quick. Um, that is, that didn't go away. So we have effects too. Oh, we'll, we'll do the whole thing. Let's add um, a folder and call it effects under uh, dash fx, and put these infinity blade effects in there. You're saving now. Saving the new name. Yeah. After re indexing them. Preparing shaders now. Okay. Um. These folders didn't go away. I'm going to go into the documents. Unreal Projects. My project folder name. Content. Uh, first, I actually want to delete the redirectors in case the effects left any. I want to delete these old folders. Okay, so it's not... wasn't the cleanest transition, so I'm going to save. Save all. Save all. I'm going to close this down for right now. We'll come back to it. I want to delete these now. Those are deleted now. Let's go back. Back in the Action RPG project.
Okay, it's about to open up. Um, we'll add, so now we have weapons, Infinity Blade weapons. We can go, we can delete the maps. Delete that. These weapons, uh, we can use a blade, a sword. Uh, what about blade, uh, hero sword, 10. What does this one look like? Do you want to use this one? We can use that one. What about the dragon sword, though? No, okay, we'll leave the dragon sword for the high-level players. Uh, I'll use the hero sword 10. Copy that name. Go back to my weapons folder. Uh, so we're going to start now. The weapon parent BP, if you right-click that and create child blueprint class. I want to name this hero sword sword uh hero so hero sword I'm gonna open this up uh, I don't believe there will be a place for the mesh yet no so let's go into the parent open full blueprint editor add a Scuttle mesh, call it weapon or FP or weapon mesh. This is weapon mesh. Hero sword, there it is. Go to the skeletal mesh asset under the mesh section of details. SK blade, hero sword 10. There it is. I'm going to go into the player character so that I can attach this. Here's begin play. So right now I want to create a sequence and just start working with this sequence. Zero can be adding the controls to the game. Right now I want to add uh, add the ability to carry a weapon. I'm so I can add a function called attach primary weapon. I can press uh, compile. I can add an input called weapon class. I can name this, I can call this of type weapon parent BP class reference. I can drag off this and I can type spawn actor from class. Spawn transform needs to be in my hand. Collision handling override always spawn no collision. Owner is me, I'm the owner of my weapon. The instigator is this player character. Get instigator. We need to spawn transform. Okay. Let's go to our character. Let's let's go back to the viewport. Uh, we don't have one because there's an error. So I just want to detach that for right now. Let's, here's our character again. Let's double click this icon here, scroll banner, and go to the character. Let's go to hand R. We need to add a place for the sword to spawn. There's hand R socket. Um, well, let's add a preview animation and see what's going on. I want to add idle. Idle sword, sword and shield, block idle. What are we using for this? It's sword and shield idle. Okay. Sword and shield idle. Sword and shield idle. Okay. Pause it. Rewind it all the way. Uh, hand R socket. I want to add a uh, preview asset. SK Blade Hero Sword 10. Okay, so it's not quite in their hand. I can press W to switch to the Translate tool. I can slow down the camera on the top right. Camera speed settings, I can slow down to 2. If your screen is bigger, it'll be right at the top, right here. Okay, that's what it will look like when we actually attach it. This is a preview asset. So I'm going to rename this socket to Hero Sword Socket. Control-A-C, copy that. 
I want to left click this and remo remove all attached assets. You don't need to do that, but okay to clear it. Um, I want to now get the location, the transform. I need to transform when I have a socket. Get socket transform of the player character mesh. That's the target. You can get that from up here or then here like that if you want. Socket name is hero, sword, socket, transform space, RTS world is fine. We can plug that in here. Um, once we spawn it, it will appear in our hand when it spawns. But we need to attach this. So I'm, I want to get attach actor, which is the weapon, to component, which is the skeletal mesh component in the character blueprint. Parent is player character mesh. That's where the socket is. Your sword socket. We snap the target. Location rule, snap the target. Rotation rule, snap the target. Scale rule, keep world. And this will attach our sword to our hand. If we go to the event graph now, we can pull attach primary weapon out of the functions detail section. And you can see we need a weapon class because that weapon class will go in here and it will be what it spawns in our hand. So we can we we, we know we want um hero sword. And you can right click this, promote the variable, and call it default weapon class. And if I compile this, remember it'll be in there because we, we set it. Hero sword, right? There it is, hero sword. Hero sword. We set it before we created the variable. Let's press play now and see what happens. There's, there's our sword. It's sort of in front of us. We should have it crossed in front of us. Um, because that's sort of the way the animation uh, is. And we saw that here, that he would be holding it across his face. So we did attach the weapon, and he sort of just is, is, is carrying it right now. Um, and we can sprint still and everything. So that was attaching um, a primary weapon. It's okay that it looks like this, because that's how our animations are. Um, if we want to change this, though... We can go into our sword, sword and shield idle. Here's sword and shield idle. I want to control D that and copy that. Call it uh, default custom SS idle, sword and shield idle. I want to go in here. I want to pause the, uh, okay. Pause this, rewind it. I want to get clavicle R. That's like their shoulder. Clavicle R. And I want to rotate it out. Ouch. Okay. That looks good. We can maybe turn snapping off and get it a little more accurate. So we can use this animation. I want to go to create asset. I want to create animation. I want to create current pose. I want to name it. Uh, we can go into animations. Um, uh, so uh, we can't select that default SS anim. We can put it in sword and shield. Well, we'll just put it in animations for now. Let's go back to the player. Let's use this animation. Uh, let's select the player. Let's go to our animation anim to play. I want this to be called. I want this default uh, SS anim. He kind of moved his arm out a little bit. Let's try it now. It's a, it's a little bit better, but now it's right in the middle of our screen. Let's try again. Let's go to their right hand, hand R. Let's rotate it out. And keep it even. Let's see what we're doing. I want it to be sort of out and up. See how far that seems from his face. Let's go see the player character where this kind of lines up with. So it's kind of coming. So the, the camera also isn't perfect. So we can change the camera. Be something more in the center. Uh, and let's try that immediately because now we fixed the camera. Okay, so it's still kind of in our face. That's cool. Um, we have this new pose. Let's try this new pose. Create animation. Uh, create animation, create asset, create animation, current pose. I want to stay.
complicated in animations. Default SS Anim 2. I'll get a player character. Default SS Anim 2. That seems a bit far out. Now we can't see our sword at all. Let's go back. Slow the camera speed down. Let's curve it in more. And up. And let's go back to the clock when I'll be fix the camera. Clavicle R. And rotate that in more. So now we're back in front of the camera. Without tilting the, the sword forward so much. And we can correct this a little bit now. Let's try this. He's sort of just standing here with his hand up. Let's move the clavicle in a little bit more. Create asset, create animation, current pose. In the animations folder, default SS anim 3. The player character, default SS anim 3. Let's try this now. Okay, so not quite. Let's go back, let's adjust clavicle in more, like that, like this. Create asset, create animation. Current pose, animations, default SS anim 4, save, error character, choose that animation, the fourth one. There we go, let's try it now. Okay, there we go, there's a sword that's sort of off the center of the screen um, that we can still imagine is there. Uh, the only problem is it's sort of flat now. Um, so I want to go to the animation. I want to use our animation as a preview animation. Default SS Anim 4. And then I want to add a preview asset. SK Blade Hero Sword 10. So it's kind of like sideways. Uh, I, I think at this point I would like this to be more forward. Uh, and we can kind of leave the broad face. The broad face will be seen by the camera. So let's press start. We've adjusted this socket now. Let's try it again. Okay, so there's there's the sword. Still sort of in our camera lens. But uh, for now, it's going to be okay. Uh, because I know what we're doing next. So I think for right now, I think it's okay to have this sort of in their face. You know, we can even kind of go here, though, and... Uh, we can do this quicker than adjusting the animation. We can adjust this so that it's sort of straight more. I think that would be more appropriate too. So there's there's sort of your sword out there more. Um, and I can even take this and just like move it like there. And there's sort of our sword. We're going to do that in the animation. We can go to the clavicle R. Kind of move that out like here. And go to the lower arm. Sort of extend it a little bit maybe. So it looks. Yeah, sort of extend it. There, it just stretches. Okay. Let's see. This. Let's create this asset. Create animation. Current pose. In animations folder, default SS Anim 5, add to the player character, default SS Anim 5, control, let's add, put this back in his hand with the new animation, default Anim 5, that's kind of, right, so it wasn't, it's a little, it's a little closer than we think we had this test asset, um, so it's kind of forward, we're not just, Straight up. Save right now. Okay. Another iteration. Here's the sword. Okay. And just to show you what we're gonna do next. Um well we'll do that in the next video. So we added the sword. Um and we did that by 
adding an attach primary weapon function with a default weapon class variable plugged in that is our hero sword in the attach primary weapon function we spawn the actor from our input weapon class into our socket hero sword socket with the player character meshes the target and then we attach it and we can add a return node here and I can get this sword value out so that I can access it here and now if I, I can access this sword um, I can right click this promote this to variable and call this current weapon and that's going to help us um, that's current weapon yeah okay in the next video we will attack thanks a lot